All right, guys, welcome back to Captain of Industry. Hopefully you're having a good morning, afternoon, or evening. Last time we got our concrete hooked up and also some fuel. But apparently some of you guys in the comment were saying auto balance to make sure that this is ticked. Otherwise, bits, you're going to go through so much coal. So guys, for the many comments that I received on this, thank you so much for that. Because this will probably be a lifesaver and when enabled the turbine will be automatically paused once the shaft is nearly fully fully charged to save the input product from being wasted the production will resume once the shaft <laughs> i love the word shaft <laughs> <laughs> oh my god great start to the video bits keep in mind <laughs> keep in mind that when turbine starts, it takes some time to get to full power. Okay, I'm okay with that. Right, anyway, that was a little chuckle out of the way. But now that we've got this being done, and we've got this being done, we're pretty good on everything over here, I think, I believe. Also, some of you said there was no need to prioritize the fuel generators, well, the diesel generators. There's no need to prioritize these, or turn them off, sorry. So I'm going to leave them, leave them on because the way the power generation works and the way they've set up is in here, the production is set to be P11. Over here, these are set to be higher, right? So these are P6, um, which means... Obviously, this is going to be controlling the power, but when this shuts off, these will automatically uh, turn on. But if I, if I was to pause them, it does mean that if they was to shut off, everything will go off and I'll start panicking and have to turn these on manually. So I appreciate all the comments and the love and the support. But as always, if you do enjoy the content, remember to maybe just click that little like button and subscribe because quite a few of you who watch my videos aren't actually subscribed, as you can see right here. So if you're one of them people, maybe click it because it will help me so much and because we are very 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 close to 50,000 subscribers but as always comment even if it's just a bloody emoji so right what do we want to look at today and if we look up here in the top left hand corner we can see advanced oil processing one is telling maybe we should look into distillation and we have unlocked all of that now. So uh, activate the vehicles view in your cap. Do we have a captain offense? Oh, we do. Um, let's get, what was it I needed? Fuels and vehicle, fuel saver, turn that on. Okay, let's collect that information. And then also let's now look into distillation. So let's look into crude oil refining down here. So we do have distillation, which does need crude oil. It also needs steam and it's going to produce us medium oil, heavy oil, and sour water. What on earth? And then we have distillation too, which is uses medium oil and steam to make diesel and light oil. And then we also have the cracking unit, uses fuel and gas and oxygen into diesel and water. Interesting. We've also got a flare, can burn combustible liquids and gases. Okay, so if there's anything we don't want, like heavy oil, light oil, or fuel gas, or even diesel, it'll turn it into pollution. But we've also got a burner solid, which turns waste into actually pollution. So like over here, right, we're currently extending this out. You can see all like the trash and people's underwear in here and hats and all that kind of stuff, right? So like, I don't even want to know what else is in there, but like we could just remove that. So we can, it's just gonna be just dirt going here, I guess, maybe, possibly. So if we do want to look into basic distillation, what do we want to use it for? Well, I guess we could start looking into maybe more oil production, uh, which do, will give us 36, but it is gonna consume 54. This is gonna consume 54. So we are getting an additional 10, but it does mean with the use of more power, which we're fine with, because we have got 11.2 megawatts in total, but we do wanna also keep an eye on the coal levels. And we can actually see coal is currently going up right now. And I think that is because we actually auto balance this. I think that is what helped. So again, thank you so much for the comments, whoever you was, multiple people uh, mentioned this, so I appreciate you. Right, so if we was going to basic distillation, we already know that if we was to get, uh, where's the, oh, oil pump. These can produce 18, so 18, 36, 54. Okay, so three will give us 54, and then that will go into one. But we also need steam. Does that mean we need a boiler here? Boiler. Where's a boiler? Do we have a boiler? We do have a boiler. And that requires 48 water. Now the question is, with this boiler, it does need 30 coal per minute. 
do we put that over here and ship the hot water this way or do we bring the water over this way i don't know i don't know i should really check my layers just to see what's going on here and how much this has got left so the water's still on currently 98 percent. it has just rained okay i'm doing it i'm actually why did i just pause that i want this to be built build there we go um okay so i do want to now stop bringing some pipes out of here wait is this a pipe mark two we don't need a pipe mark two we only need a pipe mark one and we're just going to take this straight under the bridge right so we need to go from you then start taking it this way like so and then i want to take it up right then i want to make sure that these are all lined up because otherwise i will go crazy all right there we go so i do if i were i think i'm gonna have to maybe put a ramp here for because obviously we have an excavator here right and then also i want to make sure that our mining is not happening here because i do believe that actually that can kind of go there um i don't want any of these to bloody fall or collapse or what what whatnot so i've got the pipe running all the way along here it comes all the way along here and comes into this general area and i think this is where we're going to do our distillery so i think what we're going to do first is we're going to bring in the pumps so i'm just going to start off by just putting three of these down like so i don't know why i just didn't copy and paste this um and then we're going to grab our pipes like so let's take you along here this way get you to connect up to the you up to there and then we want to look at the distilleries so we already know that this is 54 crude oil coming in and then we need to look at uh distillation so it's 54 we also need steam which is why we we're bringing in the water so distillation you're going to need water and steam where's this coming from crude oil goes in there steam comes in from the left hand side so i can just connect that straight there like this i should really go into planning mode right now so let's just do that and then we're going to put down the boiler let's uh yeah this boiler is pretty big is it raised oh it's because i raised it lol this boiler is going to make 48 steam and this needs six steam oh my god so one boiler can power quite a few um okay noted so let's just kind of generally just put you down i do want to keep in mind obviously expansions and all this kind of stuff right then we're going to put storage fluid storage down so we're going to put you here and then we're going to bring in the pipe for this and i believe the boiler needs coal as well right yeah it needs coal so we are going to need to put a loose storage down there is this in the way why do you have to be in the way damn trees i guess i could just uh we can just bulldoze these i can just move them up one we can do that do that to there and then i need to bulldoze you because i put you the wrong way because i'm a spawn so then fluid storage and then boiler which is here so i'm just going to put you to the side of you then we're going to get a pipe to go from the boiler to the actual vent it needs to go to but then we also need to do a chimney right waste because we need to do a smoke stack so that needs to go onto you we then need to bring in the pipes which is going to come from you all the way along oh i should have put these the opposite way around god darn it so let's try that again let's try that again put that storage there and then a loose storage right next to that one and then we can get our pipes bada bing bada bosh straight into there and then we can also get our channel to go that way obviously this is going to be set to water this is going to be set to coal um and then we also want to make sure that this is something to keep full and then i don't want it to the truck will not be allowed to pick up cargo from it we don't want that to happen so now we have the boiler we have the water which then goes into the distiller and then in the oil so then we've got distillation two which requires is that heavy medium oil so medium oil needs to go in with steam also so we have this steam coming out of here and we do have sour water and sour water if i'm not mistaken does have to be dumped yeah here right here sour water so we need to get a flur because that's going to go on the side here because this oil which is which oil is this heavy oil is going to get burnt and that comes out at six this can do 24 and then we need to put a distillation two down so we're going to go with basically wait what's this need this needs 48 medium oil this is outputting 48 so this is a one-to-one -one. really i could have put this straight and connect it together like so because then all i need to do is i can just bring the water pipe the steam pipe sorry along here to connect to there 
and then we can get this to come over here lift up by one of course and then make your way around here because obviously no vehicles will be coming this way and then we need to get you to get dumped so this is where we're going to raise you uh again and we're going to put you over here so let's uh let's just put you there for now and then we need a waste disposal right so we need to put waste liquid dump put you down there and then bring in the water to that one right and that'll be then sour water so we need to make sure this is set to sour water so the, the reason i'm doing this i want to see how the system works right i don't want to do anything regarding mass i started bringing oil in because the ground only only has a set amount of oil until we start looking into the cargo depot uh, which i guess we could bring in here and start bringing the oil into this and start then making mass fuel i want to just experiment what's going where where's going where and whatnot you know so with that being done now we now need to bring in this water pipe so i I'm going to bring you over here. I'm going to keep you nice and straight if possible. And then we're going to take you along here. And I really need to chop this tree down. And then you're going to go into here. And then you're going to go into there like that. Bob is your uncle. We have things here. I'm pretty sure we could get thing, things going. Because this is making fuel. I'm just wondering, do we want to shut this place down? Because it is going to consume the oil so much quicker. And maybe make this just into a straight fuel plant. It, it, it makes sense, right, for me to move this coal from here. So let's get this built first, because I, I could get this coal to go from there to there. So that would help a lot. So let's start getting everything being built. And that includes that pipe there as well. And now it's just time to allow our trucks to do what they do best. And there we have it. We are now have our system up and running so we have the oil coming in which we can kind of see that we can see the boiler is now booting up we do need to now empty this coal so i'm going to get this and i'm going to get this to empty so we're going to empty that coal and hopefully that allows us to fill that one up a lot quicker we are sending things from anywhere else but i think they're kind of already filling it from other places so i want to pause this one we do have this oil tanker here right we could technically leave this here and not just that the coal as well needs to go into the rubber maker so if we leave the coal here leave these generators we can just basically just get rid of this distillery so let's bulldoze this we don't need this anymore which means we don't need this this and this and then we also don't need basically these pipes and we can just get rid of all of these and then, of course, once all this is done, we then just need to reorganize the fuel being sent over here, which we can just kind of leave. I'm just wondering, would it have been easier to just maybe get this coal over here to blend with this coal here? Would that be a better solution? Yeah, I'm going to remove this coal. I'm going to just remove that from there as well. And then we're going to ship it over from here. So I'm just going to put down my belts. We just need a u-shape conveyor come out of planning mode because i don't need to plan this really then this can just run along here uh but i do want this to lift up so they can get underneath so vehicles can get underneath and then we want this to connect to here right oh no the connection's on that side okay no that's fine then because if i just keep this lifted here like so this smokestack doesn't need to be here anymore that can be gone wait where am i going what am i doing here <laughs> what am i doing that needs to come down here. Oh my God. I was trying to put it into the actual thing. That needs to go onto that line. There we go. And then we need to bring in the fuel. So this is making how much fuel? 36 fuel. Oh, it's also outputting light oil, which we don't need right now, which we're gonna need to, for now, just burn. So I'm gonna put a flare right there. And then we need a pipe to come from here to basically just raise it, take it up by three maybe take it up over here that'd be good if we can go over these right it's gonna look a little messy for now i'm okay with that then that's going to there right so i believe we've now set up we need this to go into here though we need to get this fuel running and pipe complete there we go so this should now start filling with fuel slowly moving into the pipe beautiful which means that's filling so we are now officially making more fuel than we was doing earlier do you know something? I totally forgot we had flat lifts and loose lifts. So I can put these down and make my life so much easier when it comes to conveyor 
management. Even got a sorter as well. Does this sorter allow? So, for example, if I've got like a sushi line. Oh, I can. I can select. Oh, so I can make a sushi line and start splitting things off where it needs to be. Beautiful. Okay, so that fuel filled up super duper quick. One thing we need to look at right now is we are not making enough iron. We're not getting enough iron delivered here. So I feel like I need to look into maybe getting another excavator here. Because if that iron plates run out from here, it means all of this is going to run out. But let's collect this advanced oil processing. Let's get rid of that. And now we've got to research and build a cargo depot. But first, that can wait. Uh, ocean access is blocked. Oh, oh, what do you mean? Is it because of this? Oh no, what have I done? Wait. Explore. Oh no. I think we made a boo-boo. I think we made a terrible, terrible boo-boo. We are going to cancel that right there. I feel like we might have to dig this corner up here. I want to know if this um, this ship can dock back. Because it's saying it's not accessible. It's overloaded with cargo. Is that our problem right now? Ocean access is blocked. What do you mean? It, no, it's not. He just took off. But the question is, is can he return? Oh, please tell me you can return. Oh, no. He's not coming back. Oh, sugar. Can I move this? Can I actually move this whole thing? Wait, he is coming back. He is coming back. So what's this saying? Ocean blocked. This thing's on crack. All right, let's assign a new excavator to this bad boy. And I don't think I need another truck. Actually, maybe because of the waste. The one thing I've just realized is that excavator is going all the way over here to go over this, to go all the way around here to get access to this area. I need to make access over here for vehicles. And then just like that, we got it working. I've even put in some lifts as well. And they're pretty easy to use, in fact. Like, you literally just put a flat lift down and then you can literally press F to flip it to your yeah, output. And then once you click once, you just press E to raise it. Bob's your uncle. Looks kind of cool at the side of the uh, side of these as well. So I'm going to bring in two more trucks over here as well. Uh, because this one is just kind of sat here stationary. I want to set this one to be iron. Um, and I do believe I've got some more excavators over here just kind of chilling. Um, I thought I did. I thought I got some more being built. Wait, actually, have I got two inside of here? Can I tell him to go somewhere? There is two in here. There's... <laughs> How many did I click? Oh my god. That one could be called Eivor Bob. This one could be called Yaz Tube. And then this one can be called Danny. If I can spell. And I also forgot about the sand one. And this one will be called Corline. Which is a name I recognize on Twitch. Corline, thank you so much for the love and support. And everyone who has got a name as your excavator, I appreciate you becoming YouTube members. But thank you so much for the love and support. And if you're interested in becoming a YouTube member, all you need to do is just click that little join button. And uh, if you want to support me as a uh, creator, you're not obliged to. Don't worry. Don't panic. Don't feel like you have to. But you know, winky wink. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I appreciate all your love and support. So we can already see that the iron is now picking up in the uh, boxes here. And I'm going to guess because that's just because of the double the amount of output now on the excavators. Which should help the iron production a lot more. We can already see it starting to raise now. Right, so we're currently... Right, so we're currently sat on 61% of our reserve of um, crude oil. And I'm just wondering if we want to start looking into the cargo depot. Um, which does mean I need to clear some trees here if I want to put it down in that location. Because um, I don't think I've got any other clear locations to put it, right? I guess I could put it on this beach over here, but that's a little bit of a trick for any vehicles to deliver oil. But then I can pipe it over, right? Because our wood is currently stacked right now. But, but I don't think we're consuming it as fast as what we're actually making it. So even if I did start breaking these down, it's going to take some time unless I put more wood storage down, which there's no harm in doing. To be honest, where is my wood storage? Where is it? Do I, I don't have like a wood, 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 wood storage. So let's make one. Let's just put down like, I don't know, maybe like, I don't know, 10 or something like this. And then make this one wood. 
right? And then they'll all get built, and then the wood can start coming over here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stop them from chopping this area down, and then start looking at chopping this area down. Because he can get over here, because I've got these ramps here now. Actually, he can't get over this bit, can he? Oh, he can. He can kind of come around here, I guess. Unless I was to make a ramp here, which I think is uh, a good little shout, to be honest. So take that lift up there, and then flip it, click it, E it, click it. Like that, right? And then I can just put this here. So now I want uh, this to come inbound, click it, lift it, connect it, and so on and so forth, right? And then I just need to obviously connect the belts from underneath, like so. Oh, yeah, then clearly connect that to the. No, 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 no. No. Oh my god. Delete. Okay. Now that should be okay. I think. I do like how there's like larger bridges and stuff so like you can do double stacks going through the middle and whatnot. Right, so let's look at this cargo dock. So we have unit modules, the cargo depot module for transferring units or products such as construction parts. It can be built in any empty slot on a cargo depot. Okay, so we need to put a cargo depot down first, right? That is clearly the first thing. Um, okay, so that goes here, right? I think that's right. Some parts need to be in the ocean. Okay, let's just do that there then. And we need to do a fluid module. Okay, so that fluid module goes here. Look at them bad boys. A unit module, loose module. Oh, so that, okay. So fluid, obviously liquid. Loose is obviously like coal and stuff. Units are basically solid items. Got it, got it, got it. And is that all we really need right there? Is that all we need? Obviously, I need to get fuel down here because this requires fuel. So I'm going to have to build a um, fluid storage right here. We'll just connect that straight up and then bring a pipe from over here. Oh, God. Oh, <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> That's the shipper we uh, we repaired. Oh, yeah. So not only did we build the cargo ship now, we've now got a ship from what we repaired earlier is kind of cool i'll take this down here though take this along here into there into there and then into there right and then of course we are going to do um fluid buffers here as well like so i just need to connect them up with pipes like that and then that means the oil will come straight in he's then going to get fuel to go somewhere because how much fuel does he need Oh, he's got 2,120 crude oil to pick up. And if we go over to the oil rig, we can actually upgrade it, which will give us... Well, at the minute, it's producing 54 crude oil per minute. But then we've got to think about the yield of it traveling from A to B. So let's unpause that, I guess, right? And we can start storing it. Yeah, look, 18. Okay, cool. And if we upgrade it, that's going to produce a lot quicker. So we, what we need to find out is how much... Does he need 400 in both of these or 880 at the, the station to actually send set off? That's something we need to look at. Oh, and we have a worker problem as well. Uh-oh, not good. So let's add a housing because we have upgraded. So this will give us some better benefits, but it does require electricity now. We have water, but we don't have electricity here, do we? So I'm going to guess the electricity comes from just the ground, like everything else. Because there's no electronics, ele electricity building here. You have the water facility, but not the, uh, not an electricity one. The retaining walls have been done. We'll have to play around with see how they work. Large smokestack. Oh my God, how many inputs does that have? Holy baloney. Anaerobic digester. Oh, so we can get vegetables and potatoes and turn them into gas and we get compost. Things are going to start getting more complex from here on out. I can already see it coming. Especially like now we've seen the whole distillation kind of things with different items and whatnot. And cracking unit. These buildings are really nice design. Earth separator. Oxygen and nitrogen per minute. Mmm. I need to figure out what I want to do with it. I'm just wondering if we start digging this up. What if we start removing this? We're going to start removing this and then start burning it maybe. Because we do have this burner here. We have this burner. So what if I was to stick that like here... And then just get a loose storage and then make that to be waste and just start burning that off 
He doesn't need coal. All my trucks are extremely busy though. Maybe I should get more trucks. Quick deliver. Boom. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh my god, bits. Why? Do you remember the last episode when I started, when I deleted this because I wanted to store iron? Well, none of my iron have been going here because I removed... Oh my god, it's been going for like... Oh, Jesus, bits. What an absolute spoon. No wonder this whole time I've not had any iron plates. I totally forgot about it. I removed it. Removed it. Removed it. <laughs> All right, now we can get back up and running. Holy baloney. Hey, our ship's going. It's setting off. I wonder how much um, oil's stored. 900. Okay, so it, it, it does set off when there is enough to come back with a full load. And now things are being built now because we're making, obviously, the parts, which means what a pain in the butt that was. What an absolute spoon. All because of this, I could have shut down new enough everything. We're about to get through this mountain soon with a coal, so I'm just wondering if we start looking, starting taking this down a level as well. Because I don't know how deep this is going to go. Obviously, this is still not built yet. Um, I'm just wondering how we... Uh, do I have to put a... I have to put a mine control tower down, right? Um, mine control tower. Um... Just put that here. And how am I going to start removing this? I think I just need to remove this corner. So what about if I just go to mining designations and then take this down? Let's make it flat. Oh, raise it up a bit there, right? This could be very bad. Then if we get a ramp, I think that's going to... Uh, I think... I, <laughs> I honestly don't know. I actually honestly don't know how this is going to work here. This is probably going to go very badly wrong. I need to remove this whole line here. I feel like negative two is a bit too deep and go negative one. Still feel that's too deep. Well, I guess we'll just see how it goes. Edit area. This is going to go bad, but there they're off. Sign some trucks to it. And then we also don't want to start. We don't want to dump waste now. Um, waste management. Where do I do that? In here, right? Waste. We don't want to put waste in there. We want to put waste in here. Upgrade. Oh, we've got loose storage too now. Nice. So I can upgrade. Wait, are you out of fuel? You don't have any fuel. Why do you not have any fuel? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are we not making fuel? It's because nobody's working in here. Oh, I should turn the beacon on. Oh my god. 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 We're about to have a fuel outage. And to be honest, I bet he's consumed a lot of it. He's consumed 30 of it. It's just a matter of waiting for new workers to come in now. Now that I turn the beacon on and there's houses for them, you know? Electricity. Hmm. All right, so after quite a bit of time later, I now have enough refugees to get the fuel back up and running, which means fuel can get pumping down here and hopefully that doesn't happen again. It more than likely will, because I'm, I'm an idiot. Things will go wrong, things will happen. You know what I mean? But now we need to get this fuel pumping and get it put into here so we can start fuel and everything because everything new enough is out of fuel. I tell you what though, I really, really like these fire effects right here. These are really nice. But now that we've got that running, I think we can actually call that one there. So thank you so much for watching. And as always, check out my other content right here and uh, I'll see you in the next video. So as always, keep smiling and I'll see you then.